what's up? Welcome to another video upload of Aspie with Attitude. Watching this for the first time, my name is David, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism, have speech difficulty, a speech impairment, and a speech impairment, have speaker syndrome, and that's why I call myself an Aspie. And before I get into the fourth time making this YouTube video upload like this, which is called What I Like Wearing Number Four, I'd like to briefly talk about what I actually do in this channel. There'll be some previous videos where I do talk about autistic life hacks, and there'll be others when I talk about any issues or any politics that's affecting the worldwide autism community and the worldwide neurodiversity community, using the voice from a real autistic individual, and I'll talk about autistic individuals like me using a real voice to talk about autism. And also, always make a stand for autistic rights, autism acceptance, and neurodiversity, and any autism activism. And also, I light up read for autism acceptance too. And also, what I do in this channel is, I talk about obsessions, and as it happens, throughout this whole entire video upload, that you are watching right now, I'm going to be talking about any obsessions that I have on clothes. The clothes that I'll be obsessing about is what I wear for this autistic YouTube creator channel, Aspie with Attitude. And it's always at least once every 12 or 18 months, I create videos like this due to all my clothing sensory challenges that I have. I live my life wearing track suits. It's been the last 18 months. I have added another five sets of these university style track suits to be worn in this YouTube channel, Aspie with Attitude. And I'm gonna actually show you the seven that I already mentioned back in episode 93. The blue Atla pants and the white Duke's Blue Devils hoodie. The full Harvard University Prisms outfit. And the full Colorado State University Rams outfit. The yellow and the dark blue Michigan Wolverines outfit. The North Carolina blue Tar Heels outfit. And also the full Clinton Tigers outfit. And the other outfit I'm wearing right now for the start and the finish of this video happens to be just a book on the outfit, considering that it's not much of a university tracksuit that I'm wearing here, which I'd still like to wear anyway in this channel, just to make up a 12 that I already have right now at the time this video upload from Aspie with Attitude. And before I talk about the other five that I have, I'll be getting out of the couch for this one. The real purpose of these tracksuits to be worn in this YouTube channel is to make the autistic YouTube creator channel to be more identifiable from all the rest of the other autistic YouTube channels out there. And this also gets worn in my outside videos, like the walk with me, which I like to do more regularly just to get myself outside to show that I'm not always in front of the computer but sitting on the couch. And I even have a matching t-shirt for the pants that I love wearing, which is worn on days when the weather is too warm to wear a hoodie, but still right enough to wear my pants. Any outside videos are never filmed on very hot days and during heat waves, since I do not like wearing shorts in any of my videos, and it simply doesn't make a cut since I'm not a shorts wearing person at all. And it's always for pants with that vertical writing running in front of my left leg. And that's what I always like to wear in these videos. And the clothes that I wear in these videos makes the channel more identifiable and to make it stand out from the rest of the other autistic YouTube creator channels. And it's true that I no longer wear any of the Everlast or the Russell Athletics brands like I did in the beginning of this channel back in 2018, since now I've got all of them. Because back in 2018, 
I was only just starting out making this channel and I just wanted to make sure before I even spent money getting all these tracksuits to get the channel the way I want it now. So, since that channel is now established, I on many occasions do like to mix and match these kind of tracksuits for this channel. Since I pretty much maybe have 12 sets and it could actually make it to be over 144 different combinations by now. I am going to now show you the five other trademark tracksuits for this channel to make the channel more identifiable. So yeah, please come with me and enjoy what I'm about to do over there from Aspie for Attitude, Wild Life Wearing number four. And now, I am ready to get started for what I like wearing number four from Aspie with Attitude. I like to start talking about that Sanford tracksuit that I am wearing right now, which was worn for the first time back in episode 102, which was Autism and Expectations, which was uploaded on the 6th of March, 2020. And the reason why I picked that tracksuit was like, I really love the red hoodie and the purpose of going for Stanford is I already know that it's one of the most famous universities in America and apparently a very hard university to get into. Especially those who did get into Stanford would probably know. And also another purpose of this red hoodie is that it resembles the tracksuit that I wore from when I was 10 years old till it got too small for me back when I was 12 years old. So like, I wore this tracksuit from 1990 up to 1992. And in some videos, you'll see me wearing a red Harvard pants just to recreate this old look. And that's why I actually got that tracksuit. Not only did I bought the hoodie, and also definitely wanted the t-shirt to go with the pants. Particularly sometimes it could actually get kind of hot when I'm doing these walk with me adventures. Since I always like to stay in the pants. And also I really love the way of the vertical writing on my pants is actually red. Backed up on my grey pants. Oh yes, this is all the stuff I really love wearing for my YouTube channel. Just to maintain this YouTube identity, Aspie with Attitude. And it's time to move on to the next outfit now. As I carry on into my second outfit, for this video, which happens to be what I like wearing number four from Aspie with Attitude, I'm going to be explaining the Marshall gear that I'm wearing, which was worn for the very first time back in episode 110, which was called Exploring Autism. And I upload this video way back on the 17th of April 2020. First off, once it comes to wearing that greenish coloured Marshall tracksuit here, I had decided to never ever buy the hoodie and just stick to the fact that I'm wearing a regular t-shirt. And the purpose of this green t-shirt was that I wanted a green t-shirt to go with my YouTube identity and I thought as I was ordering the green t-shirt, I decided to go for the matching pants since I did not have any black pants with the vertical writing. And not only that though, like I actually really love the way how the vertical writing's green and how it's actually got the animal head, which happens to be a head of a buffalo. And that's something that I love wearing for this YouTube channel, Ask Me With Attitude. And that's how I am identified with most autistic YouTube creator channels. So, I'm going to have to move on to my next outfit then, shall we? Let's get it over done with and there'll be no hoodies for this one. And now, this takes me halfway through the whole video we're actually going to be talking about the Notre Dame tracksuit that I'm wearing here, which I recall wearing this back in episode 188, 
which was uploaded on the 24th of July 2021, which is called Autism Evolution Number One. Well, only if I've got a title right. So anyway, just don't have it in front of me, apart from having this one up there. And I'd like to explain the reason why I got this one is because I've heard that Notre Dame is another famous university in America, but also just as famous as Stanford and Harvard. So that's what got me to have this one. And also, I wanted a dark blue hoodie to go for collection. And also, I really love a mascot there, which happens to be the Fighting Irish here. And also, you can see I've got it on my pants there with the dark blue writing. And also, plus, it was a complete different material, which the pants is actually being made by Champion, which is a lot different from all the others that I showed you in World Life Wearing number four and all the previous ones. And also, this time around, I actually do have a matching t-shirt to go with the pants and the hoodie, especially if the weather's kind of warm to do my walk with me videos and it's something that I want to wear in my outside videos. Well, at least I can run around in a regular t-shirt since I love to save my pants on throughout these outside videos that I occasionally do. And I won't mind actually moving on to my next item of clothing for this video from Aspie with Attitude. For my second last outfit I want to show off for this video happens to be my full grey Ohio State tracksuit which I wore this for the first time back in episode 189 explaining autismophobia something that I've uploaded way back on the 30th of July 2021 and now the reason why I wanted that tracksuit is because I'm a very big fan of wearing those greyish coloured tracksuit, particularly it's in full, as it happens. I don't wear tracksuits like this casually, and that's my favourite coloured tracksuit that I like to wear casually, are just these squash ones. And I really love the red writing that's going across it, and the vertical logo down my pants. And I absolutely love wearing red, just a light up red for autism acceptance. And I have that Ohio Bible, okay. I had that Ohio Bobcats t-shirt for a very long time and I know I wore this way back in episode 41 explaining if autism is the next step in human evolution well it doesn't matter though like actually by chance this has become my matching t-shirt to go with the outfit that you've just seen here and to make it a lot different it's just so cool how I've got the green writing and I always love the head of the cat which is actually an American Bobcat to go with this t-shirt and it's very important that it says Ohio here and Ohio there just to give it a real cool match and I did once have a dedicated YouTuber who actually lived in the state of Ohio so anyway I'm gonna have to move on to my next video to show you my very last outfit for well, like wearing number four from Aspie with Attitude. And this is my last outfit that I want to show you for this video upload from Aspie with Attitude. What I like wearing number four. As it happens, though, like the last pants that I'm going to be ordering for the United States happens to be that maroon coloured Sun Devils. And the reason why I've got that pants is because I absolutely love the yellow riding going vertically down my pants. And I bought it for this real cool Indian red, maroon, or whatever colour you want to identify it as. I only bought the pants just for the colour here. And this is actually being bought from Australia, that Harvard hoodie that I'm wearing here. And it just feels like that I'm actually going to be wearing this kind of like commonly done with this, sometimes with my red Harvard pants that I had for a very long time since episode 27 of course. Well anyway, this is just for show 
And I know I've bought this Harvard hoodie from Con on when it's on special. And the reason why I didn't get the matching pants is because it didn't have a vertical logo instead. It was just across there, just like a normal pants, whether it's a Puma, Nike, and the Adidas ones that I have without any stripes on the side. So I just didn't like the matching pants that went with the Harvard, but I would have bought if it actually had a vertical logo like the Sun Devils. And I even have a matching t-shirt that goes with a hoodie. And as it happens, I like, I just do not have the pants. And yeah, that's all I wanted for this one, since it's actually both a t-shirt and a hoodie has been bought from Australia, and while this was ordered from America. And that was my last outfit for this video upload that I want to show off. And I think it's just time to actually go back to the couch just to really finish this video off and eventually pull off with the fidget spin nose trick and the special effects that I always do at the end of this video from Aspie of Attitude, what I like wearing number four. Well, since now that it's done, this you would consider as an extension to episode 93. When I previously made a video like this in the start of 2020 called What I Like Wearing Number 2. Also, I must consider that there could be a time, maybe in the future, that I become bored wearing any of that stuff. It's only time that could tell. This video upload was published in November 2021, the one you are watching right now. And it has been three years since I've been starting on wearing clothes like this, and I still cannot see myself getting bored wearing any of that stuff anytime soon. And maybe, if you ring this notification bell, you might see the other future videos when I may have more fun wearing this stuff in the future to come. And these clothes that you saw me wearing this video upload will always remain part of this autistic YouTube creator channel, Aspie with Attitude, since I like how it's made this to become an identifiable for my channel that you're watching now. And please subscribe to Aspie with Attitude if you haven't yet. And this is all I ask for in terms of support for this channel. And I will hope that I'll never get bored wearing any of this stuff and probably they'll be completely worn out before I even ever get bored of wearing this stuff. Well anyway, before I sign out, please don't forget to ch check out episode 93, which is called What I Like Wearing Number 2, where I discuss my other seven outfits that I like wearing. And also, I did on the 10th of November 2020, talk about what I like wearing number three, which is talking about what I like to wear casually, apart from wearing this stuff. As it happens, I very rarely wear any of these university tracksuits casually. So I'll leave the two thumbnails at the end and also leave the links in the video down below if you're really interested in watching more of this stuff, only if you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like and share this video content around. That's also what I've asked more in terms of support. And I think it's just time for me to sign out though. I just really hope you enjoyed what I actually did then. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to Aspie Attitude. Peace and respect and see you next time.